So we've been working on this project a number of years and it's really exciting now that we get into the stage where we can start to actually hand this information out to the general public and really kind of engage in this in a new and exciting way to understand some of the treasures that Southampton has to hold. So what you can do is you take these postcards, turn it over, scan the QR code with your tablet or your phone and it will take you to a website. If you accept camera options, point it at the photo on the front and then you will see through your phone or tablet a 3D object of this and a narration of a story in a Gothic style about some of the history of that building. If you'd like to pick up one of these postcards, you can go to the John Hansard uh, Gallery, the Westgate Tower Museum behind me, and also a series of coffee shops uh, distributed around the uh, city. As part of preserving the cultural heritage, I feel that there are two main aspects. The first is the actual preservation. It's keeping these buildings and monuments alive for as long as possible for future generations. For me, I also have a hidden disability and it is providing the accessibility for those with issues which might prevent them from fully exploring their own cultural heritage. It should be for everyone, not just those who um, can walk around and access it. We started um, with a scan of the Way House. The council were doing um, conservation work on that at the, at the time when we scanned it. And the scan was basically to see if it could help them uh, in terms of the conservation work that was being undertaken. And we just expanded it from there. There's a lot of people who live in Southampton um, who are interested in the local history. Hopefully we can generate interest in people who are further afield. You know, you have cruise ships coming into Southampton, tourists visiting, so anything that's going to kind of add to that would be kind of really useful. When we take a historic building, what we want to do is we use laser scanners and what they do is they basically capture the, um, the alignment of all the buildings, um, the walls inside, some of the door frames, all of those sorts of structures. And by doing multiple scans across the building, what it does is the, the software packages them together. So you actually end up with what is, is equivalent on your computer is a 3D model. Traditionally, you go out there and you do measurements and recording, which would take weeks and weeks to do. But with the laser scan data, we can go into a building and we can scan it within a few hours, which is a brilliant way that you can just go in there and you can look at these models, you can rotate them, you can explore them and really kind of start to see them. Some of them just cannot be accessed because of health and safety grounds. Some of them are very small and therefore limited groups. But by having this 3D data, it means that everybody can explore them. And particularly if you have mobility issues, um, some of these medieval buildings are not accessible. Um, so actually being able to see what's, what they're like inside is really exciting for opening it up to all of the public. It's been absolutely wonderful. I mean, it's, hopefully it's been fantastic for our students. We've gone to areas where you don't normally access, see various aspects of the historic town and talk about that to the students. I mean, we're from the University of Southampton and to be able to come here and do that with them is, is, is really fantastic. I think it is amazing. Um, I never expected it. I love and I'm proud to see all of the hard work that not just myself, the entire team who are involved in this project all come to fruition. Yeah, I just can't describe the feeling. <laughs>